Hello, this is Tony Caruso. Today I'm going to take a moment to demonstrate to you how to do a zero offset of your resolver and also to set resolver rotation direction when you install when you first install the RBPC. The resolver is an absolute device. It doesn't lose its position, but if you've decoupled the resolver from the uh, sprocket chain or timing belt that's that's connecting it to the crankshaft or you replace the resolver with a new one or change the base RBPC to a new one you will need to do a resolver offset and you will need to do a check of your direction of the resolver so today I'm going to spend a moment to show you what you would do once you have um, installed the, the RBPC, wired all the necessary inputs including light curtains and interlock gates, have uh, connected the resolver to it, uh, mounted the proximity switch sync cam on the crankshaft extension and have the cam set to come on at exactly top dead center zero degrees. Once you've done that uh, you will need to go in and, re and zero the resolver and check the rotation and the, the procedure to do that is quite simple. It's not a, an operator level, it's a uh, supervisor level procedure. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the key into the run program switch. We're going to put it into the program mode. We're going to hit the exit key. I'm going to scroll down on the keypad a little bit now so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to hit the exit key which brought up the supervisor. We're going to put the 1 in, which is the supervisor password, and then the password itself is default value is all 1's. And we're going to scroll down using the down key until something is called resolver settings, which I can see right now. I'm going to pull away a little so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to hit the enter key. Now, at this point, or even prior to doing this, I would recommend that you turn your drive main motor on, power up the unit, of course it needs to be powered to do all this, and just momentarily hit the pound buttons and or the foot switch and make the machine move a little bit. And the reason why you're doing this is you want to see the direction that the resolver is turning in. If the clock is rotating, the rotary clock is going the right way, you could skip this, the next step called set work direction okay and go right to the resolver offset but I'm going to take you into move the cursor uh, to the set work direction and hit enter and right now it's on the top line it's saying set work direction current direction is clockwise don't try to figure out is it facing the resolver or not if it's going the right way leave it alone if it's going the wrong way under the next to the word new use the toggle key either counterclockwise or clockwise. You can toggle between the two of them. We're going to leave it clockwise because this demo is, this is on my demonstrator, is set up correctly with the rotation. I'm just going to hit the enter key. Okay. And then you exit out of this screen. By go exit brings you back one direction. One, one screen backwards. Okay. Now we're going to move the cursor up to the resolver offset. If you direction is correct, you could have gone directly to resolver offset. If it's not, you do the set direction first, then go to resolver offset. You hit the enter key. Now it says, do you want to set resolver offset? You can either go to the no key, or you can go to the yes key, which is the letter D as well. In this case, we want to do the resolver offset. Oh, by the way, you would be prior to doing this, you probably want to keep your press control in the single stroke mode. Uh, the resolver offset is done in the single stroke. We do not offset and do uh, changes for auto top compensation in the inch mode. So you really want to do this in the, with the press left in the single stroke mode. Now I'm going to hit the yes key. Zero position detection will be performed during the next cycle. And it went back to that screen. Now what you have to do is simply put your key in the run mode press the reset and make a, a bunch of follow the prompts exercise light curtain press the pound buttons in and in this case you see that the um, 
units already at zero or 358 degrees. The first stroke could be anywhere in the rotation. You need to continue to make a bunch of strokes in the single stroke mode and, for, and if the position indicator was 330 degrees, the next stroke is going to be 335 degrees or, or thereabouts. The next stroke it will be somewhere in the 340s and the 350s and if you make 6, 7, 8, 10 strokes, you know, whatever, you'll eventually see every stroke it's getting closer to the zero degrees. Once it hits zero degrees or th close to 357, 358, etc., within a few degrees of zero, you have zeroed your resolver. There's nothing more you need to do. Okay, so it's a very simple process. Uh, it might take several strokes to get it by single stroking and following the prompts to get it to the zero position. But once it's there, from now on, as you're single stroking the press, it's going to continually try to uh, always find zero degrees. It will do that internal compensation so you'll never have to make an adjustment ever again. So this is only the first time when you install a new resolver or a new RBPC uh, or do a, a mechanically decouple the old resolver that you would have to do the resolver zeroing process. Okay, hopefully that uh, makes this a little bit easier and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.